But just a, a brief note on Irish writing in uh, the Peterborough area. Two writers come to mind, and they were connected in an interesting way. These are 19th century writers. The first is Isabella Valancey Crawford, who's, uh, who was born in Dublin in, 19, in 1850, came to um, Canada with her family, and they settled in the Paisley area to the, in the southwest, so, well, north-southwest of Ontario. But the father was a doctor, and I, I think he had problems, among them a drinking problem. He left Paisley under a cloud, and somehow they came to Lakefield. The story is that one of the Strickland family convinced them that they could use a doctor in Lakefield, and so he came, and he brought Elis Isabella with him. And Isabella want, had writing aspirations, uh, and, and uh, she was, I think she was well brought up, and she was a pianist as well. So she became the organist at St. John's Church here for a time. They lived in Lakeville for a time, then they moved to Peterborough. And so, so Isabella lived in Peterborough from about 1870 to 1876 before they moved to Toronto. Hers was a very short life. It was, she died in 1887, so she was only 37 years old when she died. But she wrote copiously, especially for the illustrated newspapers of the day. And Frank Leslie's Illustrated Newspapers and Frank Les Leslie's Monthly Magazine. She, um, she did very well. She made good money doing that. But she done, didn't publish any books. So her only book was her collection of poems that came out in about 1884. But she's closely associated with Peter Burr, and she would have written a good amount of her material while she was here. She connects up to an earlier writer named James McCarroll, who came from County Leitrim to to uh, Canada in uh, 1831, so really at the time that the Moody's and Trails came. And he wanted to be a musician, and he and his father tried to set up a music school or a music academy, if you can imagine that, in 1832 or 33. Eventually he went on to, he became a, quite an accomplished violinist and fiddler and played all around, uh, but he was also a writer and an editor he managed to take over the second newspaper in Peterborough called the Peterborough Chronicle, which would be the forefather of the Peterborough Examiner. Uh, he edited that from 1843 to 1846 when he had to move on because it was a fire that destroyed his print house. Went to Coburg, went to Niagara Falls, uh, went to Port Credit, and then on to Toronto always writing, and always writing for the illustrated papers in the way that Crawford did. And I think there's a connection between his work with the Frank Leslie Corporation, because he actually was in their employ for a time, and Isabella Valancey Crawford getting to publish there. So, uh, McCarroll himself died in 1892. He did publish four books, and he's written interestingly about the Peterborough and some poems and so on. So those two writers are very, I'm so fascinated by McCarroll because his story has never really been told and I've gathered together just an amazing amount of archival material that uh, I'm slowly putting together into a book which will, two books, one of which will be a collection of his writing and the other will be a, uh, a biography of him and the whole problem, uh, you could say, maybe a biting the hand that fed him. <laughs>